Hey guys, how's it going? Out here for a flight, getting ready to get going. I'm Fish, and I hope you join me for my last flight, where it was the eclipse, and it wasn't happening over here, and I was out there at the right time, believe it or not. Unbelievable. Now, I didn't take the uh, flying wing today. I'm taking the foam board. And I had a little trouble with the flying wing. I recall the propeller gave, it broke. And I couldn't get the height I needed. And I uh, cut throttle, and that was the end of the flight. I had the other propellers, the tri-propellers, and they were just basically no good. With the foam, I'm sure I have a little problem about trimming, adjustment. In one of the uh, elevrons, I just don't recall. So, we'll go get that flight in a few. Stay tuned. We're here at the park. I have to slow down to make my turn. I'm in a lower gear already. And I need to safely get past the boulder and the fence and the rail. Single-handedly I do this. Let's try to get more onto the grass so we can avoid getting sand on the wheels. Is this a kite? It sure is. It looks like a balloon. I'm sorry. Now I am going to go to the other end of the park this time because I'm going to have a problem with the girls coming in with their dog and flying where I'm uh, flying, you know, the field. So let's go sit up all the way at the other end. And I have to get used to the field as I fly. I'm used to flying in this area over here. They cut the grass. That's good. So the bugs will be out and biting for sure. The sun comes up over here where the plane is at. So there is no wind and the bugs are out. As always, we do a check up, left, right, propeller. Let's go get a flight. Give a little uh, look around. Pretty good indeed. Nobody's here. Here we go. Up, oh, gotta watch for the dip. Let's get the height going. <laughs> Crashed, bath, boom, ba. That's what flying is fun about. I don't have to yell, I got a microphone. Now in this plane, I have a prop saver. Ah, the bugs are out, I got more room to fly. Let's go have some fun. I cut throttle. Oh man, I'm up there. I got dips. That's the foam board. Beautiful flight. Don't mind if I just relax and not talk. If I hear something or see something, I'll let you know. I'm kind of turning. A little disorientated. A little nose heavy, that's what it feels like, but that's the board. Once you get going, you could lower the throttle some, and that will give you the control you need. Beautiful flight. It's like a flying toaster. Right in my face, Mr. Bug. Give it some gas. 
get up there. A little stubborn on the uh, the left turn. I feel that I don't have enough uh, thrust. I'm able to get my height. Get up to there with the bird. <laughs> right in the face. All right, I got the height. I got a 3S battery. I think I'm going to try that. Ah, the bugs are just biting on the arms. I'm going to try a 3S battery, then I'm going to call it a day. Dead stick. Dead stick won't give me any uh, glide. Let me show you the crash. Rubber bands. They're the best. Just uh, place them back. Let's disconnect. Throttle cut off. Disconnect. And let's get that 3S battery on. It's got power in there. Let's see what we can do. Then I'm heading on out because it's a little too buggy. One bug doesn't bother me. One and a half does. It may make it nose heavy. I'm not sure. I got three rubber bands. I'm going to have to give it some uh, full throttle to get up there. Hope I don't burn the motor out. There we go, gave the sound. That made it heavier. 3S battery. Ah, the bugs are away. Here we go. Oh, the propeller takes off, the bat out of hell. I was just about getting a lift, just about going to get lift. Leave the plane. Find the propeller. Call it a day. Pick everything up. Unplug. Why am I calling it a day on it? And let me just adjust you so this way you're not looking at the sky. I call it a day because the prop saver came right off. I don't have an Allen key with me, but I'm able to get it on. It's a little loose. So a little Loctite on aluminum may work. So time to get out of here. I did have a flight, but I didn't get up there fast enough. Propeller flew fine. Oh yeah, and it's wet. So ladies and gentlemen, appreciate you coming along on this beautiful flight. You all have a great day. And that's the end of the RC video. Get yourself a piece of foam board. You'll be happy. You'll fly. Oh, man. Beautiful day. Peace and quiet. I got uh, clay on my tires and wheels, and they're just so much fun to get off. And I'm riding here on the grass, and I'm going to have to get them washed off. Loads of fun. You couldn't ask for a better day. Nice and calm. Had a good flight on 2S. 
And I guess 3S was a little too strong that it just taken the propeller right off. Now, what you can do if you got a Dremel on the shaft, you make it flat just a little bit so you can get one of the bolts to stay on and make a better grip. Don't do both sides on this two millimeter shaft because it won't cut it. Now, these micro motors are loads of fun. Trust me, they are. With the foam, it's just a flat piece of foam. On top, it's got half of it. And that allows you to cut into the wind and the wind to get over to give it lift. But it's on the top. And the characteristics is going to be dipping. And if a wind comes along, it's going to really push it. Unlike the Champ, it's like a U. And it'll just make it lift no matter what you do. Keep the plane a lot steadier. I'm not a physicist. A physicist. You are. So you could explain it to me. And I'll say thank you very much. Appreciate your advice. I'm not out here to be Mr. Perfectionist. I'm out here. Had my fun. I had so much fun that I shared it with you. I showed you that you can get out there with a piece of foam and have fun flying. It's simple as that. All you need to have is a propeller, a prop saver, a motor, a receiver, two 2.5 gram servos, horns, and sure enough, a piece of foam and make your design. However, which way you transport it, mine is on a bicycle. And I have a DX6 transmitter that could do just about anything in there. I watch a member, Mr. Kent. If he does watch my videos, will he come and comment on it? I don't expect him to, but I am a subscriber of him, and he is a subscriber of mine, most likely. And he's flying back again, and let's all wish him well, Mr. Kent. And he uh, wasn't doing too well over the wintry season. Now, Mr. Kent flies the UMX E-Flight Radian like I fly as well. And he got out there, did a good job. And he had a little trouble with coordination. I said to Mr. Kent, would it be advisable that you could set your transmitter up so you could have elevation? And this way, you're tossing with your right hand, you're giving thrust with your left hand. It means you got to get back onto the stick. So I have a flap, a little up elevator. And then when you launch it, it's going to go up. And when your hand gets back comfortably, you can switch normal. And then you can fly normal. And that's something I learned that you can do on the sports cup. That you could change just about anything. Make your own flap system. You have your ailerons change to ailerons, flapperons. I didn't know that. I did it. Had a good job indeed. So you got a vlog. You got real life flying. And you got talk. Finishing of the vlog in a nice conclusion. I should fly my E Flight Radian, and Mr. Ken gave me a great idea. Why not put my box rather than being in the back on the front? And I've been trying to do that for the longest. And I need to get myself a rack that goes in the front, a little one. And this way, I put it on there. I don't have to worry about my foot going over and crushing the plane. 
I could rig up something with two wires, hook it to the handlebars, and then come out like an L. Make like a single basket, like so. And just put the plane in there, or anything in there. But the wire is very uh, flexible, very lightweight. It would be good for this one, but not for the, uh, the box. So on that note, I do appreciate you coming by. I have some friends that are willing to visit you. Would you like them? They are Mr. Bug and Mrs. Bug. They're just hanging around. Boy, do they get around. They're all over the place. On that note, I got to get on up and turn this bad boy off. Have a great day. Thank you very much for joining me on this beautiful flying weather day. My day came to an end. Have a great day. End of RC Flying.